Hey there, Shauna Karish here with an Ask Shauna Answer. Um, and this question comes from Daisy. And she says, I adopted two thoroughbred horses and a Palomino. I had to return one of the thoroughbred mares because she became dangerous to me and my other two horses. Now my Palomino is becoming food aggressive. How can I stop her from entering my gelding stall and kicking him to get his food? I can't have the stall closed because I'm not there to release them after they eat. Okay, so what we need to do, this is a little bit tricky. I'm not, um, so you kind of need to start working them together. And this is what we need to do, is get them where they can work together. It's kind of hard when you're not there to know what they're gonna do. You know, so you walk away, you're never gonna know if he, she goes over there and steals his food or not. And, and it's, you're not there to reinforce the good decision. So that makes it a little challenging. So the best thing I can offer, and this may be a residual leftover from the horse who was threatening them and bullying them that you kind of decided wasn't a good fit for your guys. Um, so the, the best thing I would, I would suggest doing is start working them. I would teach each of them to hold on a stationary target so that they know to hold those stationary target, they're good. So, and I would even maybe have a bucket there or a place where you can feed them pretty quickly. Have them, each of them individually, learning to hold on a stationary target. And I'm sure these two can be together. Yeah, because they live together. And then, and so teach them individually without the other being there. Teach them to hold on a stationary target. Each of them are very good. Then I would bring them together. I'd ask them to hold on the stationary target. Since your mare is the one who goes after your gelding, she is a dominant animal. We dealt with this a lot at SeaWorld about their, um, we, we have social hierarchy just like everything else. We don't, we're not part of it. We're not, we never talk about dominance. We don't worry about that because it's not part of our training. We're not part of their, you know, we don't live with them, sleep with them, eat with them. We're not a sea lion or a whale. <laughs> so anyway, so um, what we do is the dominant animal needs to learn to let the subdominant animal eat. So what we would do, and so, but the focus is really on the dominant animal, the one that's dominant between these two. So the one that is the one that goes and bullies or chases or does, you wanna play, it's really about this one learning to hold while this one eats. You may have an issue where this one runs off, but it doesn't sound like it. it sounds like that one just gets chased off. So I would put them both on targets. I would have them targeting. I'd keep my eye on the dominant one over here and I would, feed that one and, and maybe you drop, drop it in a bucket if you have two buckets handing standing there and have drop a little bit just a few sprinkles in that bucket and then when your mare is good click and give her two handfuls so basically you're going to teach her you get a lot when you get to eat let him eat a little bit so you're kind of trying to break this habit that she had so then pretty soon you can drop a little bit more when she's good reinforce 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 and build it up like that so that they're learning to eat together, but she's learning to let him eat and to stay at her food. The best you can do is have it where it's good in your presence. So if you're hanging out there and hopefully what will happen as she gets better about it, she'll get more confident about it and not so worried or not feeling like she has to bully because she got bullied and this is what we do at feeding time. But that's what I would suggest as the best way to do it right now is to, to reinforce her for making good decisions. Or another thing that might be um, doing is um, maybe his, maybe you have like a stall guard up where he can't get all the way in, but you could stay there where she can go out, but she can't get all the way into his other stall. And you'd have to stay there for this. So you need to stay there for some of them. But you're setting up where she can't get all the way in, but as she makes a decision to come back to you, you could also reinforce that quite a bit. So those are some things. I'm going to have to think about this. I just kind of read it and answered off the cuff, but I, I know there's probably more things you could do, but that's what I've got for now. So teaching them kind of the behavior of learning to eat together and, and learning proper manners and making it, and I do it a, a fair share of repetition. So even if you could at dinner time for a little while or meal time, whenever you can be there, cut out some time, maybe go in and feed them early yourself when you can stay there and feed, um, if, and as you get them good with their little behaviors, I would feed him and then feed her, feed her, feed her, feed her, feed her, and, and stay there with her so that you can kind of help and reinforce her and dole out her things. You can use some targeting in between to stretch out her time a little bit and, and make it so she learns the correct, to rehearse the correct behavior. Every time they get a chance to 
to rehearse a behavior, to do a behavior, it becomes a stronger part of their repertoire. So the more that she gets to do the wrong thing, the stronger it gets. It's a habit, you know, it becomes just this is what I do, or this is a coping mechanism. So by having her practice this new correct behavior, it starts to become a stronger part of her repertoire. So that's what I got for now. <laughs> anyway, Daisy, so let me know how that goes. Keep me posted. And if you have more questions as you go along, or you know, if you may hit a different place where you, you know, just get a hold of me. We'll see what we can work out. There's always a way to get through it. We just got to sort it out. But their free time is their free time, and that's a little more ambiguous. Anyway, so let's work that out. All right, until next time, if anybody has any questions, contact me at askshauna.com. Enjoy getting your horse on target. Bye.